Wednesday, June the 6th was marked by an unprecedented number of resignations in Artsakh. State Minister Aray Karatunyan has submitted his resignation to President Bako Sahakyan. Artsakh needs major personnel changes, which the President of the country has planned and specifically us, who submit resignations today, are helping the President to faster implement the arrangement that existed, Karatunyan said during a media conference. Later in the day, Karabakh Police Chief Kamo Agajanyan tendered a letter of resignation as well. Director of Karabakh National Security Service Arshavir Karamyan and his deputy Karik Sarkisyan also handed in their resignation. Samuel Aleksanyan has quit the parliamentary faction at the Republican Party of Armenia and thus leaving the RPA without a majority in parliament. Earlier, MPs Felix Solakyan, Shirak Torosyan, Arthur Gevorkyan, Arman Sahakyan and Ardak Sarkisyan had left the RPA faction. The faction now has 52 seats in the National Assembly. Arek Gureyan, a member of the Sasna Zerer Armed Group of Armenia, was released on Wednesday. A capital city Yerevan court granted the respective motion by the defense and he was set free from the courtroom. Earlier, MPs Haraj Hagopian and Lena Nazarian had submitted to the court an individual pledge for Gureyan. An earthquake with a magnitude 5.5 was recorded Tuesday morning in Azerbaijan and it was felt in Armenia too. Armenia's Emergency Situations Ministry said the tremor measured magnitude 7 to 8 at the epicenter. The seismic activity was felt with a magnitude of 2 to 5 in Armenia's Tawush, Lori and Chirak provinces. The World Bank forecasts a 4.1% economic growth for Armenia in 2018, the Global Economic Prospect Report shows. According to the report, Armenia's economic growth is expected to be 4% in 2019 and 2020. EU-Armenia relations have reached new highs, the EU said in a new report issued on Wednesday. Since January 2015, EU-Armenia relations have developed significantly. The negotiation and provisional application of a new bilateral partnership agreement, as well as the finalization of partnership priorities in February this year, have contributed to this success, the report says. The report is issued ahead of the first European Union-Armenia Partnership Council, which will be convened on June the 21st. The much-anticipated meeting between U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un will take place at a hotel in the Singaporean island of Sentosa, the White House has confirmed. The historic summit is scheduled to take place on June the 12th, but many details are still unclear.